Hi, I'm Brent Fouch, developers of Thought Controlled Technologies. We recently created a software application that allows the user to navigate the computer mouse, open programs, compose, and send email all with the power of their mind. The program is available for everyone, but especially beneficial to the disabled, who do not have their hands for the normal day-to-day -day functions of the computer that we all take for granted. My name is Brian Ferguson. I'm a financial planner in the San Diego area. I was introduced to them just a few weeks ago, actually right after they developed the program. A client of mine uh, knows a guy who's on the team. I mean, he knows about my disability. I, I have what's called arthrogryposis. It just means that I have limited use of my arms and legs since birth. Um, he had been to my office. He had seen me typing with a stick in my mouth. I type 20, 35, you know, 30 to 35 words a minute with a stick in my mouth. He thought that was pretty cool, but he said, a buddy of mine is doing this mouse thing. You need to see it. I trained with the emotive headset for about 20 minutes, trained it to push, uh, just using my brain, you know, not, not touching anything, no remote controls, no nothing, just think real hard. The push, it went, think left, it moved left, think right, it moved right. Got it trained, it took 20 minutes. Then we turned on the program, I was able to type with it. I can't demonstrate it because I can't use my hands. You don't use your hands at all, it's just thought. You can't see thought. <laughs> so it's strange because people look at it and go, are you really doing it? And I go, mm, you know, kind of concentrate and a program would open or a program would close. Very cool. Once the emotive wireless headset is placed on the head and the sensors are making good contact, the user selects the desired action to control the click and double click function on the Jedi mouse. The program provides for a brief training session for the user to master the thoughts selected to operate the mouse. It begins with an 8 second baseline reading to establish the user's specific thought patterns. As the user thinks, the push action the three-dimensional training cube will move into the distance. By thinking lift, the three-dimensional cube will levitate into the air. Once training is complete, Brian is now ready to launch the application to compose a word processing document. The application enables a virtual keyboard to launch. The user controls the mouse cursor with the power of the mind to move right, left, up, and down, or can select the gyro feature to navigate the mouse to follow the user's eye movements. Once the mouse is over the letter of choice on the keyboard, the user thinks the pre-selected training action, such as push or lift, to activate a single click to type the letter. In his very first attempt, Brian is able to create a complete sentence in a matter of minutes. As you can see, typos can occur, which require the use of the backspace button to correct. As the user becomes more familiar with the program, the typing speed is increased dramatically. One of the major benefits for the disabled is the ability, often for the first time, to communicate with loved ones through a Word document or email. Once complete, the user can press send with his mind to send the email, or minimize the screen to operate and navigate to other computer programs. This technology can operate on the cognitive level, which reads conscious and non-conscious thoughts. It can also operate on the expressive level, which operates from facial expressions, and the affective level, which can detect the user's emotions. In the expressive mode, shown here, the user blinks and the avatar blinks. When the user smiles, the avatar smiles. Here, Brian navigates to open any program of choice from the Start menu. He can browse the internet open and close programs, and accomplish every action on the computer that a traditional mouse can perform. Brian is now finishing his session and will navigate to click and close down his computer. No hands, no remote controls. Um, you know, immediately my mind went to uh, people who are quadriplegic or something like that. It could be extremely useful. It's fun to work with. It has a lot of uh, wow factor to it. We hope you enjoyed the video and recognize the limitless applications available to enhance the lives of those around us.